Hello and welcome to week 33 of the 2024 Baking Challenge. We're more than halfway through this thing and last week we did lemons. It was a subtly sweet treat. Today, I'm so sorry, we're going all in on the sugar. We are making fudge brownies and I just gonna apologize in advance because it's a lot of sugar and butter <laughs> and chocolate. So grab your ingredients and let's bake. It's August and I'm wearing a flannel shirt because it got cold. <laughs> I know we're gonna be back to summer here in the next couple days, but today it's very chilly and I'm nervous and excited about brownies. So I have never made brownies from scratch and let me tell you why. I can make brownies from a box mix and I don't like them. They don't taste right, they're not the right consistency, they're too fudgy, they're too cakey. I can never get it right. So we're gonna give this recipe a try. Fudge brownies, it is supposed to be the best of both worlds, fudgy and cakey. Let's see if they have it right. To start off, you are going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You're going to lightly grease a 13 by nine pan which I've already done, both of those things. You're going to crack four eggs into a bowl and beat them at a medium speed with your cocoa. So let's just go down the list here. In this bowl, I have got my one and one fourth cups of cocoa, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of espresso powder, and if you're new here, <laughs> get espresso powder. The recipe says it's optionable, optionable. The recipe says it's optional. I say it's not. I'm addicted to this stuff since I think week three when we did the cookie bars and I discovered how amazing it is. Now I use it for everything, including like Rice Krispie treats. So I may have added just a little bit more than I was supposed to, that's okay. Um, and I have my tablespoon of vanilla extract in here. So you're gonna have all of that. You're gonna add your eggs four eggs, and you're going to mix these at a high speed. And I know you can see the lack of mixer here, so I'm hand mixing. I know, I know, I promise I will get my mixer repaired sooner or later. I'm just, it's just so far away. And uh, yeah, I really, I'm making a mess, but that's okay. So you're gonna mix it at a high speed or medium speed? Um, it just says for one minute, medium speed. For one minute or until smooth. Um, while you're doing this, you should be melting your butter on the stove. It is 16 tablespoons of butter. Okay, I had to break out the spatula, but it's done. Next up, you're gonna have your melted butter and your sugar. Now you can melt these together over the stove doesn't matter. Um, I'm doing this in a different bowl. I wanted you to see just how much sugar there is. This is two and one fourth cups, 447 grams of sugar. And uh, it's a lot. I mean, I love sugar and even that makes me pause. So what you're gonna do is you're going to pour your butter over your sugar and you're gonna get it very well mixed. If you're doing this on the stove or continuing in the microwave, you're going to go until the mixture is hot but not bubbling, so about 110 to 120 degrees. It's gonna be shiny, and that's what gives the uh, brownies their shiny look. Okay, add the hot butter sugar mixture to the egg and cocoa mixture. Here we go. Stirring until smooth. Good grief. So much butter and sugar. I am, I'm starting to rethink this. I know it's gonna be good, hopefully, um, but it, it is a lot. Like, this is a lot. <laughs> I don't usually stress over the sugar content in, you know, baked goods too much, obviously, but, um, this is a lot. Now you're gonna to wanna to mix this up. And 
Here we go. It's going to take me a while. I'll see you when it's mixed and then we'll get to the flour and the chocolate chips. All right, I got my hand mixer out because honestly, unless you are the Energizer Bunny and you have a ton of strength and time and energy, you're not gonna get the lumps out of this unless you have a mixer, a stand mixer, a hand mixer, whatever. Mine has even still got a little bit of lumps in it. Um, I should have broke this out sooner, but I was being stubborn. Now that it's as good as I'm gonna get it, uh, you need to add a cup and a half of flour and two cups of chocolate chips. So let me pull my spatula out here. And I'm gonna turn this on. And I'm just gonna start adding the flour, a little bit at a time. I'm gonna call it done. Clean off my beaters there. I'm gonna call this good enough because this is just dragging on and quite honestly, this is as good as it's gonna get. All right, two cups or 340, that's basically a bag of chocolate chips. I'm using semi-sweet. The recipe was non-specific as to what type. So you could go with milk chocolate, you could go with dark chocolate, I don't know. Do what you want. Do what makes your little chocoholic heart happy. I am going with semi-sweet because a lot of sugar. So I'm kind of hoping that um, these aren't gonna be, oh, it smells so good though. <laughs> okay, we are spooning our batter into the greased pans. It's, it's a thick batter. I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's a very thick batter. This bowl is just a mess. <laughs> it smells so good though. Okay, spread your batter out inside your pan. Try to get it even. The more even it is, the more evenly it will cook. Um, okay, that's good. These are going to go in the oven for 28 to 32 minutes. The edges should look done. The center should look like it's still a little wet. You're gonna to wanna to use the toothpick method. I'm gonna put it on for 30, right? Was that right? Yeah, I'm gonna put mine on for 30 because my oven bakes funny. So you should use the toothpick method in the center. Uh, should come out clean. Let's see here. Um, poke it through the center of the pan, dig around a little bit. Should see moist crumbs, but no uncooked batter. So there you have it and there you are you're going to take them out of the oven when they're done cool them on a surface you are going to want to cool them pretty thoroughly that way you can cut them without them falling apart if you under bake them just a little bit i'll see you back when it's time brownies are out of the oven they smell amazing i cut mine a little too warm so it, the first one came out in a little bit of a mess that's okay. It smells good. It's most likely going to taste amazing and I cannot wait to give it a try. Here we go. Mm. Mm. It is chewy. It is fudgy. It is cake-like. It is delicious. The espresso powder really gives it that something extra. So even though mine looks like a mess on the plate because I was impatient and didn't wait long enough, I'm gonna call this recipe absolutely a win. Well, that's it for week number 33. Whew, I can't believe it's been that long. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button below. I am going to put out one of these videos every single Saturday morning. You should also head over to the Facebook page and follow along there. 
because on Wednesday mornings, I'm gonna post the ingredient list and the name of what we will be baking that weekend. That way, if you wanna join along, you'll have plenty of time to get your shopping done. I'm going to take this brownie and curl up with a blanket and a good book and ignore my adult responsibilities for the rest of the day. I'll see you next weekend. Mm -hmm.